Hi, this week for NRA Gun of the Week, we're taking a look at the CZ P07. In today's world of individuality and customization, the P07 just might be a worthwhile addition to your collection. Released in 2009 and revamped for the 2014 model year, the P07 utilizes a reinforced polymer frame, and like its older brother, the CZ75, the side nests within the frame rather than overhanging it like John Browning's M1911. Because of this design feature, the barrel sits lower in the frame and more in line with the shooter's grip, which ultimately plays an effect on recoil impulse, giving way for controllable and fast follow-up shots. Out of the box, this gun features three interchangeable backstrap inserts to modify the gun to your grip style and liking. Additionally, CZ offers magazine base plates, which are handy and provide users additional room for supporting this compact size pistol. Lending to the customizable theme here, and what I think is most interesting of this particular handgun is that it comes with a decocking mechanism placed here on both sides of the frame. When the hammer is cocked in single action mode, simply depress the lever downward to safely bring the hammer to rest. Now the gun is still usable at this state and simply press the trigger to engage its double action mode. Now I know that doesn't seem so interesting, but what is, and I think many of you may agree, is that CZ provides a manual safety with this gun, and it can be swapped out depending on your user preference. I just so happen to prefer the setup as it came with a decocker. Moving to the trigger, I found the company's Omega trigger to be easily controllable in both modes, with a firm double action press that does seem to stack a bit. What follows is a crisp and clean single action mode. Another neat feature of the Omega trigger is it's easily disassembled and removed without specialized tools. I must also note the magazine release on this gun is switchable from left and right and can be done once field stripped, which again adds to the ability to be customized, suiting needs of both left and right handed shooters. So I've got to say time on the bench and the range with this 9mm Luger was not disappointing. The gun was pretty accurate and recoil felt minimal. Granted I'm a bit larger than some and have many years of experience behind the trigger, but I am confident that even those with smaller statures are capable of accurately controlling this pistol. All in all, the CZ P07 gives users a lot for around 500 bucks. The frame's texturing and contours adhere well to the hands without being too aggressive. You'll also notice CZ does provide a section of rail along the dust cover for accessories. And the company's sights give a clean, usable picture, which are drift adjustable. To learn more about the customizable P07, visit cz-usa.com. And be sure to keep a tab on AmericanRifleman.org for more reviews of guns like this each week.